Oh my gosh, Brianna, where did you get your nails done? I get asked this question a lot, whether I'm at soccer practice, at school, shopping, ordering food, or doing whatever. I always get compliments on my nails, and people always ask me that same question. My initial response is that, well, I paint my own nails, which shocks a couple people, but what shocks everyone else is when I tell them that my nails are actually natural. So I've been growing my nails out now for almost three years, and I always wear nail polish. There will never be a day where I don't wear nail polish. And I repaint them around every two weeks. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to paint your nails using a St. Patrick's Day theme. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you are going to want to remove your nail polish if you have any on. And obviously I do have some nice bright pink nail polish on for Valentine's Day. So I use these nail polish remover wipes because they don't have any acetone in them. And acetone is actually really bad for your nails. And as someone who paints my nails around every two weeks, it's really important that I keep my nails healthy and strong. So I use something that doesn't have acetone on it. I also do have this just regular acetone nail polish remover, which is a lot easier to remove nail polish with, especially like glitters and everything, which I will use if I do have glitter on my nails or if I have a crack in my nail. But for the most part, I do use these just because it is a lot healthier and nicer for your nails to use. Okay, so I took my nail polish off. I took it off the one hand. I'm just going to do my one hand today. And so now the next thing we're going to do is we are going to file our nails. So what I use is I use a crystal or glass nail file, which uses a special glass, and it's really, really nice for your nails. It isn't as rough as an emery board. So this is what I use. There is also an emery board, which is obviously this. Um, I don't use this because... I need really, really precise filing since my nails are the coffin or ballerina shape. So I use the crystal nail file, but this, if your nails are shorter or you aren't really going for a specific shape, then this is also still a really good option. Okay, so my nails are finally filed to a shape that I like, and now we can go ahead and get started with the painting. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with our base coat. The base coat basically just protects your nails from staining. Obviously, since I wear nail polish so often, my nails are bound to stain and become a little yellow, but the base coat is still nice because it also smooths out the ridges in your nails. It makes the base coat a lot easier to apply. Okay, so the base coat dried, and I went ahead and did two coats on every single nail. I did white, and then I did a light green, a shifty nail polish, and then I did black on my thumb. So I just used these nail polishes, and now I'm going to get started on a rainbow design on my pinky. So... I'm going to do these rainbow colors. I'm going to do them. And I'm just going to make thin little diagonal lines on my pinky. Okay, next I am going to be doing a gradient like I did here. So I already got started with it, but I'm basically just using this dark glitter green and then a makeup applicator sponge. And I am just doing a gradient. So I put the nail polish on and now I'm just kind of going like that and making the gradient. Now I am going to be adding some decals onto my pointer finger. So I have this assortment of different decals and everything and I think I'm just going to go with these greenish reflective hearts. So I got two out and so we're going to go with the base color. We're going to apply a third coat to it. And we are going to let it dry for a little bit so it becomes a little tacky. And then I'm going to pick these up and I'm just going to drop it on my nail. And then I'm just going to use a toothpick and kind of move it around where I want it. And then once I like it, I am going to just kind of push it down a little bit. Now for my middle finger, I'm going to be doing a water marbling technique. So you're going to need some room temperature water and then just an assortment of nail polishes. I'm just using a whole bunch of different green ones and then you're just going to take your nail polish and you're just going to put a drop in the water like that and then 
And you're just going to keep doing that until you are happy with a design that you have. And then, if you're happy with that, you're going to put your finger in at an angle that you like it. So I'm just going to put mine in like that. And now I'm going to use the toothpick and I'm going to get all that off and then I'm going to pump it over. And now we have this on our finger. And you can kind of outline where your cuticle is. This should peel off. This design on my thumb, I'm going to be doing kind of a cool belt design using this gold nail polish. Okay, and so now our nails have finally dried, all of our designs are done, and we are ready for the top coat. So when we do the top coat, the most important thing to remember is that the top coat has to be extremely thick, that way the nail polish does not smear or smudge, because that is very common and it's happened to me many times. So we're going to start, it's going to be pretty thick, we're going to start with our pinky, we're, gonna, we're just going to do it super thick. Just go over it to prevent as little smearing as we can. I'm gonna wrap our tips. And there is one finger. St. Patrick's Day nails. And if you ever need to have your nails painted by someone, then you know who to go to now.